should focus on energy services, not whether it's grid. Grid was just a means to provide electricity or energy services at the door. It was just one of the channels. We today are concentrating on the channel rather than on the service. Too much utilization of grid rather than, I mean, should we talk about uh, stores or should we talk about a particular product? Today people are too much talking of the stores rather than the product. I think we need to redefine how what, what are we trying to achieve. Well, that's and kind of what Steve Jobs did with music. Yes. The music I mean, is yes. the... Not the channel. You yes. don't need the music store. Exactly. Although he made one on, on the <laughs> web. <laughs> But, but yes, exactly. My friend, why grid versus that? What is grid? It's not grid right. versus that. Right. What do people need? And when you have a plan uh, 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 on, a, on a sheet before you even build the houses, you can day one look at energy efficiency. Like you don't need to use uh, daylight, uh, electricity lighting during the daytime. You don't need to use fans if it's a good cross ventilation. Have the walls completely white in terms of so that's better reflection better day lighting. Now, all this could be integrated. Is it important to get comfortable with the, the reality that we need, that the grid is going to be part of our electricity system in cities and yet at the same time there's a vital role for this other um, these other models? We are just talking of channels of providing energy, yeah. whether it's grid or non-grid, it's just channels. I think we have, uh, and we believe that grid is cheaper, which is not true. We believe that grid is reliable, which is also not true. As we went to the yesterday village, where, where, where there was parts of grid, the voltages were 90, fluctuate between 90 to 300 volts. The poor are actually paying for that high voltage fluctuations, burning can you, up their computers. Can you just sort of a, explain what that means, to have that level of variability in your electricity flow? Right, I mean, if you see, I mean, those, uh, many of the villages have gone in India, where yeah. electricity is there, or, or in the villages where we went yesterday, yeah. the voltage can fluctuate anywhere between 90 volts to, uh, uh, to 300 volts. And you see that many people, we're tending to leave, uh, not buy CFL because CFL would not be able to go through that fluctuation. Now CFLs are coming. So people went back to Candescent because Candescent could actually take that 90 to 250 at least. In fact, with fluctuation, we are increasing encouragement of energy inefficiency. So I think all this uh, we, we need to see. And, and, but, but again, in the urban areas, uh, um, Andrew, is that because of the influx of the migrant communities, the poor communities, you have rehabilitation of slum areas, your structure. There's also a chance to look at how do we look at rehabilitation in the urban areas, energy efficiency, transportation efficiency for the poor. And just an example in Gujarat, we did an urban area slum, uh, uh, energy efficiency in slum. Simple changes like glass tiles on roofs, uh, uh, coupled with, uh, rather than wall uh, ceiling fans, wall mounting fans with two windows, reduce the electricity in 200 houses by more than 50%. So we have a chance even in urban areas. Now, so a big chunk of what you're talking about is a, a sort of a culture shift. The kind of um, energy analysis that you do and, and your employees do is, as you say, very holistic. It's to, to look at, uh, can you have one light serve two rooms, sure. that kind of thing. So where would you um, work to uh, expand that kind of approach to energy services? I think we should get away from the whole concept of people are energy experts. I think. Uh, we, sh we now need to have the curriculum of energy, energy efficiency, sustainable energy in every field, anthropology, uh, education, uh, designers, yeah. architects, builders. Today it's too much focus, okay, we have, we actually rather than having a department of energy, department of education should have a sub-department of energy. How can, a department of transportation should have sub -department. department of rural development should have energy sub-component. Rather than having a focused department of energy, that will break away uh, it's kind of an analogy of the Nobel Prize winner Nash, the movie that came in, The Beautiful Mind. Yeah. His theory of going to the fore rather than the middle. Yeah, one of, yeah, and that's what we should focus on.